Greetings, the educated. So, um, so basically, it turns out that, uh, that I did have my um, my battery pack in the car, which is where you'll see in head cam footage now. And you would have just heard me say that I don't have any head cam. <laughs> you would have seen the uh, the audit at um, the transport police station which was a pass, I was left alone, which was good. Um, but on my way where I'm going, uh, I did actually pass Patchway Police Station. It's a big, like, super police station. It's, it's really big. And uh, I thought I'd come here and give it an audit before I go off. I've actually been, I've been restoring a statue with a friend of mine. Because uh, I don't know if you guys don't know if you guys know or not, but I basically I will buy and sell storage units if I can get hold of them. So thank you, Storage Hunters, for that, making me lose money more often than make it. But it is good fun. But yeah, a friend and I cleared out um, a storage unit which had a hell of a lot of artwork in there from a quite a famous artist. Icelandic artist and um, this particular artist had bought a, a nine-foot statue of Hercules's legs and a head and a, and a small child actually <laughs> but they all go together the three pieces and um, they make quite a nice statue but yeah we've been restoring it because we caused a little bit of damage when we were moving it so we have to restore it before it can be sold. And that's what I have to go and do today. That's why, right, this part of the reason why I'm so up early, up so early on a Sunday morning, partly it was to watch the boxing, but also I had a lot of stuff to do. So, like what I just told you. So I thought to myself, yeah, let's, um, let's just get up and out. I actually told my friend who I'm supposed to be doing it with today that I wasn't going to be about till the afternoon because I planned to have a little nap after I watched the boxing, but I got a relatively early night in, so I kind of woke up naturally at about 10 to 4. And, uh, I enjoyed that boxing though. I enjoyed the ring walks, I thought the ring walks were wicked. And uh, a great fight, that was a great fight. I love Tyson Fury, man. I got a lot of respect for that guy. I got a lot of respect for the way he talks about how he battled depression and managed to come through it. And uh, I don't know if any of you guys have ever been depressed or anxious, but it is not a nice thing to have to live with. I'm quite open about my anxiety and stuff. I know I'm quite outgoing, but I wasn't always that way. In truth, that outgoingness in me is kind of my way of combating my anxiety and my depression because it happens anyway I'm not going to go on about that because um, it's not a particularly nice subject but yeah here we are anyway uh, Patchway Police Station big custody suite just down there around the corner but it's funny because they've got that no entry sign there oh it does say emergency vehicles only I just because I saw them drive in past the no entry bit when I first came down here but yeah look at the size of it it's mahusive yes I like that word mahusive so yeah here we are I do have this camera with me still but the battery's very nearly dead so I'm gonna try not to use it unless I absolutely have to So yeah, what's this? Audio and CCTV images are being monitored and recorded for the purpose of crime prevention and public safety. This scheme is managed by Avon and Somerset Constabulary. For more information, contact 101. Officer Yellow, that is, isn't it, AB? Officer 101. Right. Anyway, here we are at the back gate. I don't know if you can get round to the back of this place down by um, by uh, there's a Rolls Royce around the corner that backs onto this. I don't know if you can get 
get in there by there, uh, to get round there by there. But I might take a look after. That's the second police officer over there I've seen, like messing around in the back. I mean, it could actually be the same guy. What's he putting in there? Traffic cones or something like that. No zoom on the head cam, I'm afraid, guys. So we won't be zooming in. And the zoom on this, oh, the zoom on this is not great. So we probably just leave him to it. Especially because I'm getting hungry and I, I'm going to have to go and um, get some breakfast in a minute. I'm not sure where from. I'm tempted to go down to the old, uh, the, not the old, the new Bridewell, Bristol Bridewell Police Station. This gate is manually operated, so you please swipe proxy card first and push. Um, yeah, I'm tempted to go down to the new Bridewell Station because I'm going near there. You see the dirt on the floor there? Look at the state of all of that stuff on the floor. What is that? What is that? Like nicotine replacement therapy or something. But well, that's a mess. Look at this mess out all, all out here. And over there, cans, pill packets. What is that? You see, look at the paint on my trainer. Nicotine, Nicorette. Yeah, it's filthy out here. Cans and cigarette butts everywhere. It's disgusting. Yeah, it's absolutely vile. Can you imagine the, fr the front of a police station looking like this. Hello, ma'am. Do you have a, a bin bag so I can pick up the rubbish that's outside? I don't have a break. No. I've got a cleaner that's just started. Oh, have they? Is, yeah, it is. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not. There's like loads of cans and stuff outside and yeah, all of that yeah. as well. Just now at 10 o'clock. Ah, okay then. Thank you. Yeah, cheers. So, yeah, as you heard, they've got a cleaner coming in. She's just started. Um, I forgot to mention, actually, when I, when I first came, when I was walking up here. Um, so, I've seen an audit at this police station before. Uh, from Tyrant Finder and he got waved at quite a lot. He was like they said hello to him and stuff like that and they were generally Really quite nice to him. So I'm, I'm not sure whether I'll be um, receiving the same kind of uh, Reception, but I guess I guess we'll find out shortly uh, Why is only one side of the gate open? Maybe the other side opens when they're trying to come out from from the other side but yeah that constable didn't even really look at me didn't really say much so I'm anticipating this is going to be a couple of passes today from um, from uh, Avon and Somerset maybe maybe not you never know obviously it says no smoking and no electronic cigarettes fair play to him he waited for the whole time till the gate was shut Although he's still hanging around, I suspect he's on his radio trying to uh, criminalize me. You see that? That's obviously from, you got riot vans and police cars, so they've got one a different height. Why don't they have that in car parks? <laughs> they should. I think they should. I'm going to take a walk along the car park anyway and see if I can have a little look inside. Um, not inside, but see if I can have a look around the custody the custody suite. I don't know if this is a member of the public, so I'm going to block the camera just because I'm feeling nice today. She looks, um, she looks, she looks, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I guess, I guess you could say she looks vulnerable. So I won't, I'm not going to be getting her on the camera. So sorry about you looking at my black folder for a minute, but I don't want her on the cam. Until she's gone at least anyway. Well you probably see her getting in her car anyway. 
out the side of the uh, out the side of the, the field of my camera view. Um, yeah, so this day's starting pretty well with two passes. I like that. I do. Because I'll be honest with you, I do, I do, I do like it when uh, I get left alone, especially after like the whole CPN thing. Although it does kind of, it does frustrate me slightly, more than slightly actually, that that can happen to me. And then obviously I take a year without making any content for you guys. And then all of a sudden it's absolutely fine and I'm allowed to do it. Which makes me wonder whether their tactic was to try to, I guess, make it as if, um, make it so that I didn't want to make content anymore. Because that nearly did happen. I'll be honest, I can hear music. Because I'll be honest with you, um, that nearly did happen, guys. It did. I was getting to a point where I was like, oh, sod it, like, I'm just not going to bother. So here we are at the gate to the custody suite. Obviously there's not much to see around here because it's going to be around the corner. Let's go on the other side so you can take a look. It's going to be around the corner there, around the back of... Um, see Rose Royce there that I was on about? But yeah, it's going to be around the back there where I assume they go in to custody. So yeah, there's never, there's never really much to see around the back of these custody gates. Remember, when in custody, mask on at all times. Body worn camera on, leave it on, it says. So they want you to keep, they want them to keep their body worn cameras on. The ones that actually put it on. <laughs> Some of them don't much like to, to put it on, do they? But I think we're going to get engaged here by some police constables, which is a shame because obviously, like I said, when we had Tyrant Finder here, he was left alone largely. Well, I say largely, he was totally left alone. So. Hi, Hiya, how are you? Good, yeah, good stuff. Are you me? I am, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I suspect that you already know. No. I'm sure you probably do. Have uh, well, you done it before, have you? Oh, yeah, quite a lot of times, yeah. Oh, was it for a, you got a vlog or something, have you? Maybe. Um, I was wondering, is somebody going to pick... There's lots of rubbish around here. It's disgusting. Is somebody going to pick it up? Yeah, we've got um, cleaners. They're not very good then, are they? Well, it's not the cleaners. It's the people that are visiting the station and dumping their rubbish on the floor. Yeah, well... So, uh, you'll let the cleaners know. No yeah, problems though? That's it. No, 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 no problems at all. Okay, is there anything particular you're trying to catch? No, no, no. There's a question I'd like to ask though. Um, what's your names for us? Um, Sergeant Price. Sergeant Price. And yeah, PC Treadwell. PC Treadwell. Uh, do you guys have um, permission from your um, Chief Constable to gather covert surveillance on me? No. No. I don't think so. Okay, so are you aware of Section 3.5.5 of your codes of practice? Uh, your, sorry, your policy? What would that be? That would be to inform members of the public that your body worn camera is active. Section, no. yeah, section 3.5.5. I'm not going to start arguing with you. I, it's not an argument. I just come to see what's going on. I know, okay but you, I know. Why you're videoing. I know, but now you've breached my, my rights. Body cammy, that's okay. But you have, Take though, haven't you? Okay. That's shocking, Sergeant. 3.5.5, 3.5.6. I suggest you go and do some learning. 3.5.5. Yeah, you can. Section 3.5.5. If your body worn camera is active prior to. You're not even. You're not letting me speak, so I'm not governed by a policy in fairness, but section 3.5.5 of your policy says if you attend a member of the public and you switch your body worn camera on before, you will inform them at the earliest convenience. Section 3.5.6 says if you activate your body worn camera when in the presence of a member of the public, you will tell them before you activate your body worn camera. So I'd, I would appreciate it if you followed your policy as you expect us to follow law. Of us, yeah. Cars, but, no, no, no. Sorry, that's an assumption. Without also, as well, in sorry. So, well, you've come out. Sorry. You've got body cam activated. Ah, oh, man. And you're aware that it's on. So you're aware that it's on, and I no longer need to tell you that it's on. Yeah. But you're obviously trying to be argumentative. No, no, no. I'm not doing. being argumentative. I'm, I'm being assertive, and because I'm right, you don't like it. That's the problem. I'm going to move myself. Yeah. To the please do, and act within the parameters of the law next time, please, Sergeant. To go around abusing people's rights like that is disgusting. It's a joke. So 
also, that was that just just annoyed me. That has, it really has annoyed me because she I was trying to talk to me about how I'm going around filming them in their cars. They came over to me filming our personal cars. I didn't. See, oh man, I hate it when they say that. It annoys me when they say that. <laughs> You're filming me, man. Like, you're worried about me filming your personal car and you're filming me, my personal face. They're a joke. Sergeant's like that. Like, she, I could literally, I was getting really frustrated with her because I could just see the tyrant in her. Like, she just. Come on, man. Follow your own policy, innit? Gather covert intelligence on people without letting them know. Anyway, I'm gonna clean up this rubbish because it's disgusting so I'm going to do it they got cleaners indeed I'll do it disgusting mess that's disgusting man Is there a bin in here? Is that recycling there, that one? Yeah. Um, no, I've got some sanitizer in the car. Well, I'm just going to go, there's another bag of cans over there what I'm going to get. I'll put that in a bin and then I'll use it. Thank you. We don't want messy police stations, do we? No, we don't. <laughs> we don't want messy police stations. Clean up our constabulary. <laughs> Look, camera. Dash cam. Actually, is disgusting that one. That's a strong side there. Where did you say that sanitizer was, my love? Where did you say that sanitizer? On the wall? Okay, thank you. Oh, just there, yeah, I see it. Was that you guys that called the sergeant on me or did they just notice me? Oh. Okay. Well, have a nice day, girls. All right, take care. Right then guys, I'm going to do some work via Greg's because I'm hungry and I need a, I need an egg baguette. Oh no, how am I going to get out? This is no entry. PC plod. Right guys, um, yeah. That was it for me today from Avon and Somerset. Yeah, score. Peace.